Hey guys, so today I'm debatching uh, my Ford Escape here. This is the same one where I did a review video on almost a year ago. Uh, you can see down the back I put on uh, the dapper sticker and the cup sticker. It also has the factory badging on it. Uh, we're going to be getting rid of that. Uh, I, I wanted to make it look a little bit cleaner and eventually I'm going to end up wrapping this in some sort of div or vinyl wrap or something. So just trying to get it cleaned up and prepared for uh, future plans coming along down the road. Uh, you, I already have a few things lined up at the bottom of the screen. I have a heat gun, some goof off. You can also use WD-40. I've seen people use Windex or uh, Goof Gone or Goo Gone, I mean. Uh, any sort of like cleaning substance will honestly kind of work. If you wanted to, you could also use a polishing compound for afterwards. I, I don't have that. I'm not too worried about that. I also have a little bit of dental floss. Uh, scraper hit me that blue rag and then obviously the blue rag. So we're going to go ahead and get into this So what's really nice about the uh, escapes mines in 05 is that all the badging is just adhesive. There's uh, No pins or anything that you have to pull out. So I'm going to take a Little heat gun. This is just from Joe master my friend. Let me borrow it. It's got I don't know if you can tell a high and a low I'm just going to turn it on low for now. And we're going to start with, uh, well actually, let's start with the main Ford badge so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm going to be doing. Just kind of go over it. Make sure it's working. Yep. Don't keep it on there for too long. Only a few seconds isn't, you know, pretty good. Just want to heat up the adhesive that's up behind it. Put that down. Now do beware, it is going to be hot. Get a little bit of dental floss. And there's a good chance that your dental floss will snap. So just be prepared for that. Try to get flushed. Just start working your way back and forth behind it. Last hold. If you have to, you can go back, uh, use the heat gun again, which I think I might do. The idea is reheat the adhesive so it's not as uh, sticky or hard, softens it up, and you can get it off easier that way. You could also use a hair dryer. Uh, I've seen people do that. Um, just so long as there's some sort of heat source. Or I've seen people uh, just go at it without using a heat gun. And do be careful. Uh, I think, I don't know if I actually mentioned this earlier, which was literally like maybe a minute ago, but the surface will be hot. So just be aware of that. You can wear gloves. I'm not, which probably makes me an idiot. But it's whatever. So just like flossing your actual teeth. Go behind it, start working your way around it. My mom just came home, taking up her spot. And you slowly just start working your way back and forth. Nope, and I break my floss again. That's no bueno. Nope, nope, too much floss. And... Alright. It's off. Still a little warm. You can see all this adhesiveness when I'm still there. So we we're going to come back to that eventually to get rid of that. Right, for stickers, they're pretty similar. You could just peel it off and then rub off the adhesive afterwards. I'm gonna hit with my heat gun again, just to soften up the adhesive that's already on it. Make it nice and toasty. 
And then the idea is you can just scrape it off or you can peel it off. This should be easier. But remember, surface is going to be a little bit toasty. So try not to burn yourselves. I have seen videos where people have accidentally you know, gotten a little burn on their finger. Yeah, it's pretty hot. I'm just using a little scraper that I have from a screen protector kit. Kind of try to get in here. Remember to use a plastic or a rubber uh, scraper so as you don't scratch the paint. I would not recommend the use of a razor because that is metal. And you don't want to scratch your paint because you want this car to stay looking pretty. Am I right? I think this is good enough to where you can just kind of peel it off. Yeah, uh, it's pretty hard to see. Actually, let me move the camera just slightly closer. It's still pretty hard to see, but there's a little bit of residue right around the edge. And it's just a little spot right here where the sticker used to be. From a distance, you can't tell, but there is residue. So, for that, I'm going to take my goof off. I uh, just got this at your local like advanced auto parts, so you can get at your uh, local uh, auto store or hardware store. And I'm not sure if this has some sort of cap that I need to take off. Oh, it's also on stop. Yeah, there it goes. So, get the bag out of the way. A little bit. Probably should have read the detail, uh, directions. Uh, apply directly, goof off to penetrate for a couple minutes, swipe off with a clean absorbent cloth. Uh, do not allow it to dry the surface. Yeah, so gonna let that sit a little bit. We'll come back, try to wipe it off with a rag. I also have paper towels that you can use. Uh, really anything to just get it off so that, you know, it doesn't stick to the surface for too long. All right, it's been about a minute or so. I'm gonna take some paper towels I got. Just wipe it off. And yeah, the residue just came right off. Good clean surface, just remember to clean up excess residue. And there's people coming by. Because remember, you don't, you don't want this to stick. It smells bad. It smells very bad. I love the smell of cleaning, cleaning chemicals. Yeah, all this dirt and grime. Yeah, all the residues now completely gone. And we have a nice clean surface again. Alright, so we now have a badge and a sticker off. So, with this, this is all just one piece, which is nice. And, you know, it's aftermarket. They never, this case never came out with an actual SVT um, model. Uh, these are all individual layers, so it shouldn't be as hard because they're smaller. It's just that the fact that there's a lot of them that might get a little annoying. So same process, heat it up a little bit, if you want to, you know, you can go ahead, try to skip ahead a little bit, find a spot where I'm not heating this up and using the dental floss and whatnot, but try to show you just what, I, what exactly I'm doing. But, This is the part where you should have skipped by now. Take a quick donut break. 
Get your handy dandy dental floss. There's, there's, and there's no real better brand of dental floss than others. You know, some people might like their Colgate, some people might like their Total. Self preference. But same thing. Just like flossing natural teeth. Got finesse it. Back and forth motions. Oh. Make sure you gotta get behind the letters. Boom, shakalaka. Right, so the actual badging's off and the real sticky shit is left behind. Actually, that looks kind of cool with the black. Go back in. Time to get rid of the letters. One by one, they fall. And I'm slowly running out of dental floss. So I'm gonna have to get a new strand soon. Yep, fuck. Right, yeah, let's start using some new thing to dentally floss. This is just, uh, oh, this is actually from OB. Fuck. I've also seen people use fish line. You know, it's stronger. Still does the same job, but usually dental floss is the cheaper option. As I believe many of you would probably agree with me on that. Shit. Yeah. All right. God damn it. Went through a lot of uh, dental floss today. Probably more than I've ever used in my actual lifetime flossing my actual teeth. Which is not good. We should probably start doing that again, you know? Son of a bitch. Alright. All of the badging is now off. All that's left behind is the sticky residue crab. I'm probably going to have to go back in with the heat gun, scrape this off. Let's get this sticker off. And you can skip ahead if you haven't already. I'm just heating it up. One back. The surface is still a little hot, but you can see that it peels off much easier now. Thankfully, this is all one piece. So long, dapper. It's nice being dapper with you. But times, times are changing. It's a little bit of a nuisance as well. Let's see, let's peel it off. Yeah. Oh, and you broke it. Now we just have that. I'm gonna get rid of it. You can already tell if you, um, I'm actually not sure if you can tell through the camera, but there's already a lot of residue that is being left behind, so don't worry, we'll fix that. bit lit and dapper is no more all right now now you spray it with goof because I am the goof 
All right, spin a little bit. Let's go back in. Grab a paper towel. Just wipe it off. Probably could have last set a little bit longer, but all the residue is coming off. It's just, you know, gathering up in little clumps. You can't really tell. Just all around here, it's just little clumps of residue. So I'm just gonna want to make sure you wipe all of it off. And boom, residue is gone completely. Make sure you just wipe it down really nice. All the actual residue can sit and will stick. You don't want that. Now, all of it is gone. Nice clean surface. Now, there's still, you can still feel a little, some spots. Well, you can just wash that off later. All right, now back to this. So, I'm not sure how I want to do this. I think I'm going to take my heat gun and uh, blast it. There's, I'm probably going to come back at it with my little scraper and try to scrape as much off and then hit it with glue off. To see if that works. Because I was kind of hoping that everything would just come off all together, but it looks like I was wrong. So, yeah. Get it nice and toasty. There's a fly in my hand. Try not to ruin the paint too much. Yeah, and there, there it goes. Starting to give way. You might be able to come back in with a little bit of dental floss, but I'm just using my little metal, my not metal, my plastic, plastic scraper. And this is all the sticky stuff that gets left behind. So I want to try to get rid of much of this as possible. Might have to hit it with the heat gun a little bit more. But this is the general idea. You know, just keep scraping till it's all gone. There's definitely a better way to do this. Just you know, I'm just kind of doing this on the fly right now. By the seat of my pants. Or the, the, the pants of my seat. And stick your head between your legs and kiss your butt goodbye. And you can see a lot of it is coming off. Heat it up a little bit, try to make it nice and soft. Melt it down. I might try dental floss, actually. It's, yeah. But to imagine that this video is already, you know, going a lot, going on a lot longer than I thought it would. I guess this is what happens when you're a noob and you do something for the first time. Yeah, this floss stuff is not going to work. Okay, so. I'm just gonna keep going at it like this then. If you want to, you can skip ahead. I think I'm gonna pause it here until I show you what the done, uh, the finished product. All right, so got the majority of it off. Uh, there's still a couple of little spots where I can run over it and it feels a little bit weird. And then there's this small little line. But other than that, the, ma you know, the majority of it's off and you step back. You can't really notice, it looks pretty clean. All I have left to do is uh, scrape all this off uh, so what i did to get this off though 
is you know heat it up a few times go at it with the scraper uh, do that over and over and over just so you can try to like peel it off bit by bit it took me about 10 minutes uh, just because there was so much but yeah use a lot of elbow grease heat it up a few times scrape it off heat it up a little bit you know scrape it off and then once you get down to like the really bare stuff where it looks kind of almost film like uh, then you can hit it with the goof off or whatever cleaning product you're using uh, let it sit for a little bit, wipe it down, and then if not off, it's gone again, you know, just hit it, you know, use your goof off again, uh, and then just wipe it down. Uh, but yeah, it took me about 10 minutes to do, so I just have to do the rest of that. I'm not going to show you, uh, just because it's time consuming, my battery's dying, I'm running out of storage space. Uh, but you can kind of get the general idea, just a lot of elbow grease, and you got to be patient with it. Um, other than that, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this little, uh, I guess update slash tutorial video on my uh, uh, my escape uh, if you liked it or if you got anything out of this you can go ahead and leave a like which should be right over here there should be a little like button over here there should be a subscribe button right next to it or maybe it's over here now I'm not sure uh, and I'll see you guys next time